Hi everyone, welcome once again to my YouTube channel where you learn things around analytics, automation and productivity. Thank you for always staying tuned, thank you for supporting, for liking the videos and for sharing them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work around multiple choice questions in Form in Power Automate. Right on my screen you can see forms and I have question here which is a multiple choice meaning I can select more than one. How do they appear? What is the challenge? when handling this in Power Automate and how will they even appear on SharePoint list at the back end. Here's the form and right here is my flow. What I want to do now is to trigger it. Let me make a submission and let's see how it looks like. Then we can see how to resolve it. Okay, I'm going to put this form in preview mode. Select Microsoft applications and services you are familiar with. I'm quite familiar with all of them. So I'm going to select all and click submit. So this is done because I've built my flow, which is to get triggered when someone fills that form, collect the details the person filled, and use it to create item on that SharePoint list. If I go back to the SharePoint list now, it's right here. Okay, so I have all the responses, but come on, it's having a bracket and it's having they are being quoted because they are text, so it returned them as an array, and that's something we need to work on how do we have them as the normal word ms word should stand as ms word ms exe should be like that and so on so how do we actually do this in power automate i'm going to show you two ways i mean first is using the expression you know how to write a string a whole lot of string replace and replace the other one will use just an action card and will be fine i create item in between get response details i'm just going to create i mean add a new action here and I will call that action compose. I just go ahead and use compose. Let me compose a variable. Then here, uh, what I'm going to do is go to expression and you will see on that string, I'm going to see more, see a lot of strings here. But the one that we do what we want to do is the replace. The replace function, replace a string with a given string. We just want to replace with empty. You know, so what are we replacing? Remember, this is how it looks like. There is um, a symbol here. That's a block bracket open. It's closed. The quote, they also want to. So I have three things to remove. The open block bracket, the double quote, as well as the closed block bracket. So I'm going to come back here and just type replace. Open the bracket. Now it's expecting me to pass in string. So I'm going to type, this is exactly what I need to select. Select Microsoft apps and services you are you know, familiar with. I'm going to click on it. And at the end, this is what I want to replace. I mean, this is actually the text that contains what I want to replace. Then I put a comma. What exactly do I want to replace? I'm going to quote it. Single quote and open that block bracket. I don't need both of them and close it. The what do I need? Put a comma. I want to replace it with quote. So I've typed the, my I've typed my empty space now. I've used the double quote to signify empty space. So this expression will only replace the open block bracket, as you can see. Then we need to replicate it. So the output of this now will have removed the open block bracket. So how do we then replicate this? By taking this whole output as another input. So I'm going to go back to the beginning again. I had another replace open the bracket then go to the hand assuming that value now is the input put a comma what do i want to replace this time around the close bracket here i put a quote and close that quote comma what do i want to replace it with it? empty this is the empty that i'm going to close right now i've removed the opening opening uh block bracket as well as the closing block bracket but remove the quote I just need a single code to remove all the code wherever they are. So I need to take all this output again as my input. Then go back to the beginning, add another replace to the end, to the end, put a comma, single quote, then put that double, you know, that's the quote I need now. Wherever it appeared, that's the opening or closing, it's going to remove them all throughout. So I'm going to close it, comma, replace with empty, then close. This way I have defined the function, right? So 
let's click on it uh, the expression is invalid let me check to validate okay is there so i have it there now so i'm going to write this uh, i'm going to run using the sample data that i already have so i'm going to test um automatic we have a sample data and i'm going to just click on this and click test so let's see how it looks flow run successfully so let's just click here to see what the output is you see it actually worked we have the output but imagine we uh we wrote a whole lot of things so i shouldn't have done that because what would be on the exam on the sharepoint will still be this because we didn't replace it with it so good enough but we can see what the output here is all right so let's edit a new second method then we determine which of them we should use to replace that so if i go back to my sharepoint list and see it's still the same thing so for the purpose of this i'm going to edit and anytime i'm running this i don't want this create item to run so let me just put it as configure a run after and say fail so when it is failed or let's even say skip when it is skipped when the action above is skipped that's when this should run okay and click on done so that way um uh, anytime i try to test my flow it won't affect this one will not run because it's not been skipped okay so let's create another one that's another option how can you then replace that's the challenge now how can we replace all the you know opening block bracket closing block bracket as well as the quote another action here is join we can use this action point called join under data operator and it's going to help us to achieve this even simpler so it's asking us where is the input one thing we just have to do here is before we add the input type in the expression json and open bracket then come back to dynamic content select the input which is this and click ok that's our input what are we joining with i'm going to put the semicolon here good i think we are done so i'm going to save so let's test this as well you know using the previously successful test and run it it's done running let's check do you observe that the create item did not run because the configure run after did not the condition was not met compose was not skipped that's why this will not run right so opening the join i can see the input here this is the array and i'm joining with this do you see the output which is the body we want to okay do you want to okay i think it's good to replace with um um semicolon we just show that these are separate things uh, but what we have here is comma because I can actually replace this comma as well with semicolon. But I think um, I'm okay with the semicolon because I can see that separate thing. Right. But if you want to change, it's just to come back to edit and put this as comma instead of semicolon. So this is comma. Then come back to create item. What do you want to change? This guy, I'm going to remove the raw uh, input and select the one coming from join that's the one that i want to use simpler expression okay don't forget to configure the run after here as well and remove it uh, so just make it is successful done so i'm going to save everything is saved now i will fill this form once again submit another response i'm going to select excel power apps power automate and click submit so let's observe uh, of course we didn't put this on the test so you won't see until you go back but on our sharepoint list you should be able to see it i'm going to refresh as well oh i don't need to <laughs> already i can see the output here okay you can see everything is well done now you know just by using the join join function join action card was really simpler for me to use and it works that way right so you can apply this knowledge maybe not even to ms forms alone uh, you can actually use it in any of the use case you are considering either the replace one or the join thank you for your time and bye for now